Hey everybody and welcome to Indie FX, the awesome web show that teaches you how to do Hollywood style effects on a super cheap budget. This week we're doing a tutorial on an essential action movie effect, the muzzle flash. <laughs> Now I know that this episode's a bit different, because we're not actually doing a build, but rather an editing tutorial. Which means we don't have to spin the wheel. But, I am going to tell you about prop guns. Finding realistic prop weapons isn't too hard. The way I do it is go to my local hardware store or sporting goods store, buy a $15 airsoft gun, and paint it black. It looks pretty real, and it even has a moving slide and a functional magazine. I really like guns like these because they're cheap, durable, and easy to replace if it breaks. So without further ado, let's get started. Indie FX will be right back. If your camera came with a neck strap, like this one, make sure to put it on. If not, at least use an old shoestring or something. It may look weird, but it sure is better than having a broken lens. You're watching Indie FX. Okay everybody, so I brought my footage into After Effects here and uh, basically just brought it into my timeline and I'm going to scrub through and look for the frame uh, where I pull the trigger, which is right here, and then the next frame where I shoot, and then the frame after that uh, where I'm starting to go into the recoil. Uh, so these guys, these guys here are going to kind of be our uh, magic frames. So what I'm going to be doing is starting off by grabbing uh, this frame here uh, where uh, the gun is starting to go back. I'm going to go composition, save frame as file, and then render that. Now what I'm going to be doing is going ahead and opening up Photoshop and looking for uh, this image here and bringing it in, the one we just rendered. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this layer here and zoom in and I'm going to create a layer uh, which is basically just going to be um, like this, or sorry, a path that's going to be like that. I'm going to make a selection and create a layer via copy. Bring that back like that. Uh, then I'm going to uh, basically delete uh, this area on that layer, the bottom layer, and use my clone stamp tool on a very large size. Um, to basically uh, bring down this wall pattern here uh, and I'm also going to um, just go like that and make a selection uh, and create a layer via copy and make sure uh, that makes sure that when you're doing uh, the copying the wall down um, that you're not going to be going over the gun. And my computer's a little slow right now, uh, so it's not quite uh, being as fast with the, um, you know, real time showing you what it'll look like, the real time render with the mouse, but uh, that should be good. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, keep in mind, this doesn't have to look great because it's it's going to be only uh, visible for one frame but I think I'm going to bring that back a little bit more and then I'm going to duplicate that layer grab the bottom one control T to get into free transform and basically bring it down uh, as if it were the barrel now we can double click on that for the blending options and add a gradient overlay set on radial or sorry on reflected reversed, uh, we can adjust that angle uh, ever so slightly perhaps there we go and make sure it's on multiply and hit OK and then we can rasterize that layer type and just add a bit of a burn to the edge of that just like that I'm also going to grab this top layer here and add a burn uh, along the slide um, and also on the bottom layer here add a bit of a burn um, to give it more depth. So that's pretty good. Uh, now I can just go ahead and file and save it. 
Now you don't want to save it, uh, you don't want to compress it, uh, so make sure you're saving it as a PNG or even better yet, a Photoshop file. Uh, and just save it as basically whatever. Open up your um, After Effects and bring in your... What's going on? Uh, there we go. Uh, bring in your uh, new frame here and you're going to basically replace it uh, on the other frame. Uh, what I like to do to make things easier uh, is actually basically create a pre-composition before we actually do the um, muzzle flash. And what I mean by that, uh, so just line it up like that. What I mean by that is I'm going to actually render this uh, entire thing out, uh, this little scene out, uh, so that it is basically the exact same as our original footage, but now the slide actually moves. Uh, now, if you have a CO2 airsoft gun, you can completely this, skip this step because your slide will already move. But what I'm going to do is composition, add to render quick, and uh, and basically just hit render. Uh, make sure you're on lossless because you don't want to lose any of the actual uh, quality when you're doing this. Um, you don't want to do any compressing just yet. Uh, now we can just bring back our new composition, bring it in, uh, delete the old two, and now we should have basically uh, the same footage, but as you see now, the slide uh, moves. So now we can go ahead and start adding our muzzle flash effect. You're going to want to go to the layer just before the slide moves, and we're going to bring in a muzzle flash uh, image, and we're going to overlay it Make sure to uh, toggle this button here so you can put it over to screen mode. Uh, this will delete the black, not delete, but um, make the, the black disappear. Uh, then what we're going to do is hit Control shift d uh, to delete that. And I'm going to make it appear on two layers, uh, or sorry, two frames, oops, because um, I think it looks a little better. Just like that. Um, Oh, that's one frame. There we go. Uh, but obviously, as you can see, it moves. So what we got to do is go in here, uh, transform, enable this little stopwatch here, and oh, sorry, enable this little stopwatch here, uh, so we can have the position kind of get tracked, and also adjust the rotation uh, because it looks like the gun rotates a little bit here. Uh, and then here it will be gone. So if we play through that. Uh, real quick, uh, the muzzle flash looks pretty good. So this is usually where most independent filmmakers will stop, or most people on YouTube who are starting out with visual effects, they'll put it here, and it'll look kind of like this, but this doesn't look as realistic as we can get it. We can do better. So what I'm going to start off uh, by doing is adding some actual lighting to the scene. Uh, we want this muzzle flash, because it would be very bright, to interact with our scene. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste uh, this original composition layer, and I'm going to make sure it's on add. And as you can see, that really brightens up the entire area. Uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, use my pen tool uh, to basically create a mask of where the light would hit. So the way I like to imagine it is like a tiny little sun uh, is or is floating outside of your, um, your gun, uh, which is where the light source would come from. Uh, so obviously, you know, the front of the hands uh, would get fairly well lit. Uh, my face would be uh, fairly well lit. My chest would probably be uh, a little lit. Uh, maybe some area down here. You know, just here and there. Uh, you can add some detail spots or whatever. Um, and then also use uh, an ellipse tool. Ellipse, ellipse, ellipse. Yeah, okay, I had that right. An ellipse tool uh, in the background, just like that, to add uh, light to basically the whole scene. What we're gonna do is shift select all of these and turn up the feathering quite a bit. And on this very last one here, uh, the ellipse, we're going to turn that up a lot to basically light up the entire scene. Uh, so now, if we scrub through that. Uh, you can see 
it's lighting up, but it's lighting up throughout the entire scene, and we don't want that. So what we want to do is go down to Transform and Opacity and hit that stopwatch. And as you're shooting, it's obviously going to be bright, but before that, it's not. So then it's going to get bright. It's going to um, stay a little bright, and then it's going to start to uh, basically uh, die off within the next, uh, you know, couple of frames, uh, just like that. So if we render that out, uh, you can see when I shoot the gun, there's actually quite a bit of light. Uh, it's a little bit too much for my liking. I'm going to go down to, I think, 60-70% should be good. Just like that. Let's turn that up a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, this one definitely needs to be zero. Uh, for some reason, it's kind of editing it in proportion. Uh, and I'm not really sure why. But I think that looks pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Cool. Uh, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and add our smoke puff. And for that, I just have some stock footage I found online for free. Uh, and you can just bring it over here and uh, set it to add, or sorry, screen. And I'm also going to rotate it uh, 180 degrees because the smoke puff starts on that side. And actually, if I just hit normal here, uh, you guys can see what it actually is. And it's just a puff of smoke, um, which will help add to the realism. Uh, so we can throw that right there. And now when you see I shoot the gun, uh, some smoke comes out. Uh, but what we want to do is, because it lasts a little too long, is add a keyframe here, and then about here, it's going to die off pretty quickly. So you can see it doesn't last as long now. It looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer, a little bit more real. Um, just like that. Now what we want to do is the, uh, you know, final thing is the sound. So we're going to grab a gunshot sound here. Uh, this is a sound I found online. Uh, we're going to bring it in, uh, find our waveform. Uh, this is where the shooting starts. Uh, so we're going to uh, basically bring this just like that, right where shooting starts. And I don't actually have my sound enabled for recording, I don't believe. But basically just sync up that audio. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, that's how you create a uh, realistic uh, muzzle flash effect. Bang, 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 bang. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, make sure to hit that like box. And if you like what we're doing, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to also comment down below what you want to see us make next week on IndieFX.